Welcome back guys, I thought it's been a few weeks um, This is a little weigh in a day I've done um, I'm going away tomorrow fishing um, So I've got to get rid of all the good stuff So today I took in uh, 354 kilos of light iron for 70 quid 46 kilos of alley for 41 quid uh, there were, I had a bit of stainless, it was only 4 kilos, but £4.80 £4.80 and I had a, this tub, just this little tub, was full up with singles and that paid £51.20 um, so there is some of my motors, I've got to get out now from the garden, another box of motors, my bright wire, my heavy copper, my brass and all the VIR, apart from that little bit that I picked up a day. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be pretty good payday. The prices of have shot up. Motors are five fifty a ton. Batteries are five hundred a ton. Every copper, I think they're paying six pound six six pound a kilo. Bright wire is six forty a kilo. Brass is three fifty a kilo. So yeah, it's good money. It is good money at the minute. Um, I'm going to two different scrap yards as well because one of them's paying better on some bits and the other one and the other one's paying better on the other bits. So. Um, but before I do all that, I've got to take these back to the fencing place because I've done a fencing job yesterday. Um, well, let me get the van loaded up and then I will, uh, I'll will bring you guys back and show you exactly what I've got. Um, but yeah, there's quite a bit of it, so, all right. Right then, guys, I'm not loaded yet. I've got all this out here. Um, brass. Lots and lots of brass. It's about 40 kilos in that bucket, roughly. Um, some nice little bits, though. It seems a shame the way I'm in. A pair of stags. Someone will probably still put them on their wall. A little wow, little Moby. And just general brass. Um, there's a bit of copper on there, but to be honest, I think they'll take copper and brass. It's just a little bit of copper with the calf. Little bucket of bright wire, and that is a little bucket as well, but it's quite, neat, quite, quite nicely packed in. Two seconds, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Bright wire. Every copper. Now there's a lot of it in there like this. I got this given to me by a friend who was saving it up for himself, but he was hammering it all flat, folding it up all nice and neat and putting it all nice and neat. Another thing, I did strip a couple of motors out because I just thought, oh, they look easy enough to do. Um, and that was a bit of a pain, if I'm honest, and I just thought, I can't be bothered. But things like that. Now, to you experts on there, does that go as bright wire or does it go as heavy copper? I didn't put it in with a bright wire because it's not bright, is it? I mean, look at the colour difference. It's completely different. So I've just put it in with the heavy. It's, I'm losing 40p a kilo, but there's probably a kilo there, so I'm losing 40p. Um, loads and loads of motors. Three big 100 litre sacks of cable, and they're heavy. They must be 25, 30 kilos a bag at least. And then all the batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Couple of little ones. So yeah, I'm hoping today's going to be a bloody good payday. That's the plan. Um, on top of the 100 and 170 quid I've already got for today. Um, not a bad Friday. Well, I'm um, I'm going to get this rest this loaded, get over the yard, get it all unloaded, and then I'll uh, obviously I'll, I'll bring you guys back to to let you know what we got. Um, yeah, it's a shame though. Some these could be priceless antiques. I bet they're not, but yeah. Um, oh, one other thing. Again, one for the experts. Let's move that over there. That is actually quite heavy, that bucket. Lead wash radiators. Now this is, all this is solid copper. Um, but will it go as heavy copper? I don't know. It probably weighs about, I reckon probably five kilos. Um, I will find out obviously when I go over the yard, but yeah. Let me know if you can get rid of it as heavy copper in your yard. Oh look, there's some more of that copper that he flattened, bent up and chucked in. There are a few nicer bits. Shame we couldn't find a couple of ton of that in here. Um, right, so yes, I'm going to get loaded and I'll, uh, I'll let you know how we get on. Well guys, I can't quite believe it myself. Look at that for a total. Nearly 700 quid. Plus the 170 I got earlier, so let's go through it. Um, batteries, 450 kilo, 92 kilos for 41 pound. VIR, 2,000 pound a ton, so 
two quid a kilo, 128 quid. Lead wash rads, I only had one, but £18.60. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what's that? Four sixty-five a a a kilo, which, for having one radio out of one, out of one boiler that someone's chucked out, it's 20 quid. Plus the other little bits of copper and brass I dragged out of that, that boiler, so happy days. Heavy copper, you guys all saw that bucket. It looked like nothing. Well, it was nothing. 34 kilos for £204, which is ridiculous money. Absolutely ridiculous. Brass... 350s, 168 pounds, 49, 48 kilos, sorry. Obviously, the bright wire in that tiny little bucket, 57 pounds, which is, again, it's it's crazy money. For for what was there, it's just madness. It just makes you want to strip everything you get. Um, and then electric motors, 125 kilos of 550 a tonne, 68 pounds, 75. Um, plus, I say, the 170 pound I got earlier makes for a bloody good day. Um... So I've been collecting this gear now for about just a little over a month. A little over a month. Um, and that's what's come out of it. As well as, obviously, all of the iron, mixed iron and stuff, bits and bobs, over the course of the month. So I, I see a lot of people, obviously, when I'm in the scrapyard, um, a lot of the lads that do it full-time, um, and as they're stripping their stuff in the scrapyard, taking the motors out, taking their cutting their cables off and bits and bobs and sorting out their copper and the brass and their alley and all that, they go they they, they get rid of all their mixed iron there and then and then they go and weigh in all their non ferrous straight away with that. So they'll have I don't know, a couple of kilos of motors, a couple of kilos of copper, a couple of kilos of brass. Now I understand not everyone's got somewhere to keep it all, but I mean I only keep it in my garden when it's locked up in the shed. Um so you just think I would probably rather keep it for a month and then weigh it all in rather than do it all in little bits. All right, you might earn another 20, 30 quid that day, but rather than have 20, 30 quid a day, I think I'd rather save it up and get this sort of money every month, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's that's a fantastic result. That is going to pay for my mega fishing trip that starts tomorrow now. Um, guys, I don't know anyone that's new watching this channel. Well, I've got another channel as well. It's called Fish Hunter UK. Um, where I do quite a lot of fishing um, and tomorrow me and a friend are off on a very 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 long trip um, yeah we're going for some big fish too anyway enough of fishing this is scrap channel um, yeah I, I, to be honest guys this is the first thing I've done in a couple of weeks and I did mention at the beginning that I've, I've had a couple of loads that I've taken in that I haven't recorded um, just just for simple fact I haven't really had time um, and I don't know, I still feel like when I pull over on the side of the road and pick something up, I still feel like I'm stealing it. It's weird. Although I'm not. Obviously, I wouldn't take it out of someone's front garden unless they say so. But if it's on the side of the road, it's still... A lot of the time as well, where I am, you ain't got time to get your phone out. You've got to just quickly pull over, chuck it in the van and get, the, get out of the way because the traffic's building up or whatever. So it's hard. It is hard. Um, I watch a couple of the uh, American and Australian channels and it's a different world out there. There's so much more room. They can pull over. They've got all the time in the world. Whereas here, it's just so busy, as most of you already know anyway. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this one. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. Um, and uh, if you've got any other mates, that people that you know that watch these uh, watch the scrapping videos, please um, please share the love if you can because all all helps. Um, yeah, well, I'll see you when I'm back from my mega fishing trip, um, and we'll be back out. But yeah, what a day! Cheers, all.